Oh, what news is this? Hark and low, what news is this? A Fallout 76 wearable helmet has turned out to be not all that wearable because you could die! Yes, a Nuka Cola themed helmet which was sold at GameStop to promote the launch of Fallout 76 is being recalled because of dangerous levels of mold! Thankfully, there have been no reports of any actual injury occurring as a result of these moldy helmets. Ugh, moldy helmet. Otherwise, the tone of this video would be very, very different. Nonetheless, if you did buy this helmet for $149.99, don't put it on. They're getting moldy, and the amount of mold is bad. It's bad mold for you to breathe in if you wear it. Don't wear, don't wear the Nuka-Cola helmet and, and in, inhale mold for $150. $150 worth of mold. It's bad mold and it's expensive. If I spent 150 bucks on mold, I'm not going to waste it by inhaling it. You keep that mold. Or rather, don't keep the mold because the mold is dangerous. That's why the product is being recalled. You give that product back. Now, while this helmet is almost exactly the same as the one in the Power Armor edition of Fallout 76, it is not the helmet from that already maligned collector's edition. Thank God. Can you imagine the heat Bethesda would get after the nylon bag thing if the collector's edition helmet started getting mouldy as well? No, this is specifically the Nuka Cola helmet which was made by Chronicle Collectibles and sold by GameStop. I recently bought an exclusive Mysterio statue from GameStop. I hope that's not mouldy. I wouldn't even be able to tell, he's mostly green. The recall notice was discovered on the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission website. Chronicle recalls power armor collectible helmets due to risk of mold exposure. They note mold can be present on the fabric insert inside the helmet, posing a risk of respiratory or other infections in individuals with compromised immune systems, damage to lungs, or an allergy to mold. Basically, mold is pretty rubbish, so don't breathe it in. The website notes that there's about 20,000 of these a little moldy death boxes knocking about out there. If you're somebody who bought $150 worth of moldy helmet, you can call GameStop at 800-883-8895 or email productsafety at gamestop.com with product recall is the email subject line or go to the recall section of their website. GameStop itself is also reaching out to anyone who they know bought the nasty little helmet. I suggested earlier this is not the first piece of Fallout 76 tat to be controversial in nature. The notorious Power Armor edition of Fallout 76 that we mentioned earlier promised smart looking canvas bags in its advertisement but when people bought it they saw that the bags were in fact shitty little nylon ones. Bethesda was eventually forced to send out actual canvas bags after the little bit of microtransaction money they gave people failed to be seen as adequate recompense, especially since it wasn't enough virtual currency to buy the actual in-game canvas bag that the bag was based on in the Power Armor Edition. Bethesda has provided a statement saying the helmets that are being recalled are not from our Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition, but are instead a different line of helmets exclusively by GameStop. The Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition helmets are unaffected. Consumers should visit the product recall page for instructions if they have purchased the GameStop helmets. Now while this is way more a mess for Chronicle Collectibles and GameStop to clear up, this situation isn't really Bethesda's fault. It's just somehow, almost a year later, yet another chapter in the chronicle of embarrassment for Fallout 76. To the point where I'm not even surprised of course a tie in Fallout 76 helmet was moldy. At this point, why wouldn't it be? It would be weirder if it wasn't. Fallout 76 doesn't stop being a train wreck, even when it's not Bethesda's fault, even when it's completely outsourced product. It's still subject to an amazing fuck up because Fallout 76 is cursed. We've got to get that on record right now. It's cursed. The game is dark-sided, and that we can blame on Bethesda for that time that Todd Howard danced around Bethesda's headquarters wearing a crown made of bird bones and declaring himself God Howard. I didn't see him do that, and there's no evidence that happened, and I'm not saying it happened, but God was very, very angry, and he smited Fallout 76. And lo, he spake her, your game will be shit. 
and your helmets shall be moldy forevermore. A few months ago, I did a video called a post-nuclear post-mortem of Fallout 76, which I held off on doing for a while because I wanted to basically give as much time as possible for all the fuck-ups to happen and get out of the way so that the video could be as comprehensive as possible. And even then, I had my doubts that the video could stand the test of time as a comprehensive retelling of Fallout 76's grim little history because so much bizarre stupidity happened in the wake of Fallout 76's release and the cavalcade of nonsense never seemed to end and yeah here we are, moldy toys for all! From the nylon bag, to the microtransactions, to the bugs and the general awfulness of Fallout 76 itself, Bethesda's attempt to jump aboard the live service bandwagon has been wildly entertaining for all the wrong reasons. Now I'm sure we can all agree that in a perfect world, people wouldn't spend $150 on a plastic helmet that had mold growing inside it, but if it had to happen, if it absolutely had to happen, if we had to have helmets growing mold somewhere in the world, then it really should be a Fallout 76 helmet. It's just right. If there must be wrong, then it is right that the wrong involves Fallout 76 is the point I'm trying to make here, and making fairly adequately, I think. So yeah, thankfully, it seems no one actually got hurt. Hopefully, people can return those products, or if they're really cynical, they'll probably keep them so that they can be worth money because they're all that thing that got recalled. If you do that, seal it up in plastic or something, be safe and don't pop it on your head. Mold's no fucking joke. When I had that really bad lung shit going on earlier this year, I'm fairly certain it's because the place I moved into had this weird shed across the way that was full of moldy stuff and I didn't know because it had been all locked up. And then I finally got in there and I'm like, oh, that is a shit ton of mold in here. It's moldier than a Fallout 76 helmet in here. Let's come get people to come and scrape that shit away. So when it comes to people in games media, I probably know a lot more about the dangers of mold than anyone else in the business. That's why they call me the games media multi boy. Anyway, if you're in the business of making plastic helmets, do double check them. Make sure they're not moldy. And if you're in the business of making Fallout 76, just consider not. Just don't. Bethesda, just don't. Country roads take me home to the place.